Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your reading, don't try to make it fit. It just means it's not your reading this week, but maybe next week will be. Or you can check out the other signs that are prominent in your birth chart. All right, let's get into this, Taurus. For Taurus spirit messages for Taurus in regards to love. In regards to love. For Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus in regards to love, please. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help the channel grow and I appreciate the support for Taurus. We need to know for Taurus in regards to love. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Unrequited love. There's not enough interesting attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you have real feelings for someone or vice versa, but I feel like the other person doesn't feel the same. Calling in your soulmate. You're still manifesting this though. Manifesting a soulmate. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Very interesting. Well, obviously some of you are probably dealing in a, with a situation where you, you're not really sure how someone else feels about you. You're wondering if they feel the same. It could be that they don't, or it could be that they feel the same, but they don't want the same thing. So for example, they might not want a commitment. Let's see, I'm using the Tarot of the Golden Wheel today for Taurus. Spirit, what can you tell me for Taurus in regards to love? Messages, please. For Taurus. Messages for Taurus, please. I'm just going to be doing a simple past, present, future spread. For Taurus, please. See what's in the recent past. Three of Pentacles reverse. High Priestess reverse. Interesting. Something's coming to light. Something probably um, that you discovered or realized. Maybe someone spoke up, communicated something that they were keeping to themselves. Hermit reverse. Virgo energy there. Maybe someone withdrew. Someone could be running away for, from how they, running away from their feelings, um, escaping reality, not wanting to face the music, not wanting to um, listen to their intuition, to that inner voice. I feel like whatever has come out here, whatever has been, um, brought to light for you Taurus I feel like you don't really know how to deal with it or if you were the one that brought this to light or spoke up about something someone is not dealing with it very well now with the three of pentacles reverse this is something that's not working out could be that someone's willing to put in the effort but the other person isn't third party energy as well let's see what's in the present the sun beautiful Eight of Cups, reversed. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Something's coming together though. Um, might need a little bit more time or um, someone's really working on bringing something together. Now with the Eight of uh, Cups reversed, it could be someone wanting to return to you, go back to you know wherever they left, Could be that you are wanting to leave a situation, but you are delayed, blocked. We'll see when I clarify. Four of Swords reverse in the near future here. Again, something coming to light, something, um, some action being taken after no action is taken here. Um, let's 
the devil, Capricorn energy, something toxic, something, maybe your temptation uh, got away with you or, um, hold on, I just forgot how to speak English for a second. Cause <laughs> when I get messages, I feel like I blank out. <laughs> um, it could be that you are tied to something, bound to something that's not healthy for you. Ace of Wands reverse. So something's not going to be manifested here. Something, it, it might not be the right time. Something's not going to take off or is going to be delayed from taking off. So let's, oh, what's at the bottom before I do that? Justice, wow, okay. Justice at the bottom of the deck. So things are either going to be made right, rebalanced. Someone here is being very objective when they look at a situation, when they're making a decision. The truth is important. So let's clarify. Let's get into this. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Taurus, please. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles reverse. Where's the Three of Pentacles reverse? Page of Cups. Someone could be apologizing or expressing how they feel. There could be genuine feelings, but something's not working. What else can you tell me about the Three of Pentacles reverse? Oh, that is way too many, but okay. They want me to take them. Uh, Ace of Cups reverse. Someone could be apologizing for breaking your heart. Um, the Star and Two of Wands, Aquarius energy with the Star. Healing, Faith, Renewal. And Two of Wands, a choice, choosing a path here. Could be that you're exploring your options, looking at the potential of something. I feel like someone wants to heal this connection. Heal the heartbreak that happened. But it's just not working or you, you don't work well together. It could be also with the two of wands that someone had a wandering eye in this relationship. For a very small number of you, there could be some sort of... Um, suspicions of infidelity or a third party energy there's conflict arguments again i feel like something's not really working um even if like the the feelings are there if the feelings are mutual it could be that the effort isn't being put in equally let's just What's this High Priestess reversed about? Sorry, why is the High Priestess? Okay. Seven of Wands, Four of Cups reversed. Someone has had a change of heart, changed their mind about something, and is now standing up for what they believe in, defending themselves, fighting for what they want. Whatever has come out, someone could be defending themselves against that and is whatever came out has caused them to change their mind about a person or a situation. Any more for the High Priestess Reverse. Yeah, okay. So someone here could be whis uh, whis whis <laughs> willing to risk, <laughs> willing to take a risk here. It could be also that they... Um, they're delayed from having their own new beginning, you know, because they're dealing with this situation right now. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there, there's going to be a big change here. Events that unfold that change the the outcome of a situation um, that move things along. Could be that someone's scared of all these changes happening and is like hiding in their shell. Strength. Yeah, maybe these changes are going to require inner strength or courage. 
We have two cards for Leo here. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo energy. We've got the sun, happiness, clarity. Four of Pentacles reverse. Someone's no longer holding back. Someone's focused on, on their happiness, working on their happiness. Perhaps, ooh, why do I have the Seven of Swords here? There could be somebody working on a strategy, trying to figure things out. Again, I think this has something to do with either happiness, Five of Cups, and then there's the Five of Cups. Almost as if Spirit is saying, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Again, okay, so there could be regret. Someone could be missing someone. Again, I'm getting that, like, wanting to fix things, wanting to work on things. Maybe this was a happy connection or had a lot of potential for happiness and someone screwed it up and now they're working on fixing it. It could be that someone is... It's, it's almost like their guilt is forcing them to put in effort and they're no longer holding back they're no longer like in this defensive protective mode um they want something Oop. they want something here with the queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy um queen of wands gets what she wants and there's nothing that stands in her way so I feel like something that has to do with like what was lost in the past, what happened in the past, the regret or sadness or disappointment that someone has, I feel like they, they want to do something about it. Tell me. If I could just shuffle, that would be great. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse, please. I feel there's, if you guys are already in a connection, there's a huge change happening. Or um, if you're single, there's something that's going to change between, you know, if you could be single and interested in someone or have your eye on someone or still thinking about someone from the past. Um, and there's a big change happening there. Five of Wands. Again, I feel like there's fighting, conflict, and someone's thinking about, oh... Someone could be returning to apologize, to express how they feel. Or this is someone coming in that's new because I have calling in your soulmate and getting to know each other, which to me, getting to know each other, that tells me that you don't obviously know each other. So it's a new energy. Yeah, I feel like this is someone serious. This is someone with genuine intentions with the Knight of Cups. They want a family. They want, they have a lot of love to give. Um, per, okay, for some of you, this is somebody that you were already with in a family unit that's apologizing for all the drama and conflict that they've caused. For others of you, I think you want to leave the past behind and have something new with this Knight of Cups, but... There's a delay or a block for you. Tell me about temperance. And it's like you're working on making this happen with temperance. Tell me about temperance. Sagittarius energy with temperance here. Yeah, see? Two of cups. This is something that you're trying to make happen, trying to manifest. Working on um, maybe uh, you need more patience or more time is needed for this to really come together in harmony. I got one more for temperance, please. Seven of swords. And then the eight of wands at the bottom. Be careful. Some of you are dealing with um, a sneaky energy. Or it could be that someone's strategizing how to communicate. But, you know, just in case, I'm going to say both of those things because the seven of swords can be either or again I feel like I'm reading for two sets of people 
want uh, some of you that are completely single perhaps you had feelings for someone that didn't feel the same way um and it was very disappointing for you but i feel like they've had possibly a change of heart um or you've left all of that in the past and are ready for something new and here it is but i feel like there's some sort of strategy that's involved here for some reason it's like this this connection needs to be like you need to sneak around with each other or um you're trying to figure out how to get into this connection there's something like strange there tell me about the devil oh the chariot cancer energy moving forward progressing and the magician reverse interesting there's somebody around you that you cannot trust taurus yeah and then i have the the moon reversed at the bottom um there's somebody around you that it, it's an illusion that they care about you or it's an illusion that they're on your side there's a manipulative energy and for some of you this is someone that tells you they're going to help you but be careful there's something you don't see about that, their intentions or about what they're saying. For others of you, you haven't been able to manifest something or you're going to move away from a very manipulative energy. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse for Taurus, please. Seven of Pentacles reverse. So someone's going to feel like they wasted their time, their effort in something that's not going to pan out. Maybe it was a bad investment of your time or, you know, it was the wrong investment in the, because of the person that it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Ace of Wands reverse. Why is this Ace of Wands reverse here? Page of Wands. Completely new beginning, but it's it's a different beginning. This is like the initial steps taken. Communication taken here. So there could be communication coming in. Tell me more about this Page of Wands. What's Page of Wands about? Nine of Wands reverse. Interesting. It's like almost when you're about to give up or when you drop your your guard is when something comes in here now taurus keep in mind that this reading could be all about you or all about your person or both of you because it's just a general past present and future it could be anybody surrounding you or your connection so i feel like you know whether this is you or someone else i think i think when someone drops their guard with the Nine of Wands reverse, it's when the other person is going to take advantage of that and go in. Right? And go after what they want. And it's going to it's going to start with like an initial message here. Just getting to know each other card, right? I feel like this will be fair and balanced to you. Um I feel like you'll also be almost looking at this person or situation objectively with clear eyes. Make sure that you have these clear eyes here with this magician reverse double energy. Um, I don't feel like they're going to hold you back, but I think that they, because I have the cherry upright, but I think that they're going to try to do their best to discourage you, to keep you bound, to, to, to manipulate the situation, maybe um, not tell you the whole truth of a situation as well. I'll leave it here, Taurus. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. Hopefully it finds you well and healthy. Thank you again for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.